you got some motherfucking nerve when you get the snip Typically, you a little sore. If you can relate to it, then you're probably the people of the book. Just saying. Ain't no sequel. The last season, Moadine. Ain't no getting through them gates without that blood on you. I can tell he ordering my steps. Cause when the world said no, the father still said yes. Okay, so y'all remember how in the last episode I asked the question of also too, what happened to uh Dina? Well, we're going to talk about the Dina incident. And if you are unfamiliar with that story, come my notes. You got both. I wanted to talk about it before I talk about other topics first because this was the first thing that came to my mind. It showed the brotherhood on how severe it was if you messed with a family member, you know. So that's the first thing that came to my mind after refreshing myself on the story. This may be a two-parter situation because there's four kind of stories that I want to get into because I am trying to be balanced in a way especially with this episode because it's a subject matter that is you know sensitive to some people and I want to be able to end off the video kind of you know light hearted you know just to, per usual you know trying to make people see that you know this is a living word nothing new under the sun the people that and the things that were happening back then are happening now and if you can relate to it then you're probably the people of the book just saying so in let me actually get to it in genesis 34 with the dina situation okay because it just it makes me mad because you may know a person that wants to just take what he takes when it comes to a woman. And to me, that's really annoying because out of everybody in your land, okay, out of now, I'm saying currently, out of 8 billion people plus on this planet, and there are more women than men now. I have no clue if it was, you know, back in biblical times. You know, some things are above me, okay? It's like the fact that you take advantage of... Now, I'm pronouncing it as Dina and maybe Dinah. I, I don't know. But for me, just the relatability is just Dina, okay? So, the... The son of Hamar, right, Shechem, he gonna have the nerve <coughs> to go into Dina because he just had to have her as his wife and so forth. Like, the, honestly, if this was a Hivite custom, who would want to be around them anyway? And whoever, you know, may have done this before, I hope you have repented. And I'm not sure if men watch my channel when it comes to this series in particular. But if you have ever been in the point in your life where you, your lust was so profound, it was so, it was eating at you so badly that you had no self-control about yourself. And you took advantage of not even one woman, probably multiple women disgusting so Shakim wanted to after he went into her for marriage and here's the cold part Jacob held his peace you know and then the plan in which I'm about to say unfolded because 
he waited until his sons got back from the field, okay? It's just like, I can only imagine as a mom, but as a father, hearing your daughter get, you know, messed with, it's just like, you got some motherfucking nerve. But Jacob held his peace, okay? Then boom. Then the brothers were mad angry. But it's just like coming to your sister and to me, it's an honorable thing. Like I'm sad that it had to happen to her, but the aftermath is what gets me. And it should be shown as the severity back then, you know, nowadays, this is it's not an okay thing to do because you will do jail time. I'm just saying back then in the customs of just holding weight to your brother or sister holding weight on your people and your family, holding weight in the people of your community. You don't mess with mine. And I've always had that spirit. Don't mess with mine. You got me completely messed up. I'm gonna be like, Jill, trust me. Even though Jill, you know, she wasn't messed with. But we don't get to that, okay? So continuing on. What even made matters worse with the Dina incident was she can ask Hamar for the blessing of the marriage to take Dina as wife he didn't even ask Jacob but that's Jacob's daughter like what are you doing you're mad weird like ugh like that this stuff disgusts me <laughs> it just what are you doing at a point in time Jacob was responsive to the situation because Hamar came to him and said, you know, have our daughters, so forth, reciprocated, boop -de -boop, vice versa. Went along with the idea, right? Under one condition. He said, every male, everybody, gotta get circumcised. Because our custom is, you have to be circumcised in order to, you know, be with us in that way. And just spiritually overall, that's our custom. So they agreed. And on the third day, because when you get the snip, typically you a little sore. Okay. When you get that procedure done, you, you, it's, it's not, you know, the most comfortable thing. But anyway, they swore on the third day. Simon and Levi said off with their heads. Okay. You not finna play with sis. That's what we're not gonna do. So guess what? You're not gonna have a life. Like. To defend. Because back then. Men being men. Now no. I don't recommend anybody doing that nowadays. Because again. Fair warning. You will get jail time. Don't be out your head. Use wisdom. There's other ways in which now you can honor, okay, your mother, your father, your siblings, your family, your community. There are ways in which you can do that in less violent ways. But I'm just saying, this at the time, it made sense for them to do it. And Hamar and Shakim were included in the demise. Read for yourself. And then Jacob, you know, he was slightly worried. And with his sons, you're few in number. There's nations, other nations around you. And, you know, once this <laughs> gets out, you know, it could lead to further danger. But at the same time, Simon Levi was just like, should we just let him treat our sister like a harlot? No, we're not doing that. And I wish there was more context about Dina. I really do. She was a daughter of Jacob. So is it, you know, and I'm a student just like everybody else. So it's like, did it transform somehow like with the lineage through the daughters of Zion and so forth? It's just like, where did that you know conclude that's 
the incident with that and it's just it i again i can't express enough how grotesque i feel because shakem's spirit is still roaming on this earth there are still so many men that are puffed up men that are thinking that they are hot shit excuse my language but it just is what it is so y'all can understand you feel me it's no you have the nerve like there are at the time back then there are women there were women walking the corners there were women in the temple there were women in the meeting harlots there were harlots in every single place that you could probably go to okay and y'all had a nerve and men like she can have the nerve to go into a woman that didn't even provide consent or didn't even go through the traditional realm of asking the father or working for the father to get the daughter for a wife you don't ask permission and you don't ask for the hand in marriage after you take it from her Ugh, like i can't i can't do it can't it it irks my nerves women we get taken advantage of too much and it's been happening since the beginning of time i don't want to hear about how you know women haven't had it in whatever haven't had it bad or whatever no we were in there with you with the trenches stuff still happened to us stuff still happened through the husbands stuff still happened through the kingship it's just like y'all really got some nerve not even acknowledging you know some painful things that happened to the women in the bible and dina is an example now it doesn't does it say that she was distraught about it or whatever? And usually when it comes to these situations, it doesn't explain the women in the aftermath of it. But to me, the sons of Jacob with Simon and Levi, it showcases that's wrong. And I'm sure that people should understand, especially those that have Shechem's spirit, that they have repercussions. You know how many women are afraid to get certain kits because they are often blamed just statistically. They're often blamed for it. They, what you wore is this, that, and the third. You know the rundown, okay? So the women don't even feel safe to tell anybody, do anything, and so forth. So for the brothers to take it upon their hands without even saying anything shows measures of the cause and effect of someone's actions back then. It is what it is, okay? So that was a woman that was taken advantage of. And then what irks me with women like Lot's daughters, just, just I don't care what the excuse is in this particular example. Lot's daughters thought they had no other choice because at the land at the time, you know, it was pretty isolated and so forth that they weren't going to be able to bear children in the correct way because, you know, custom of biblical time and of the people of the book is you pretty much stick to the same, you know, customary person, right? You marry somebody that has your culture equally yoked type thing, even though that ha that's not mentioned so early on in the book, but it's the same concept, okay? They took it upon themselves to get their father blitzed, blackout drunk, okay? Not able to know what's going on and so forth and go into him on two separate occasions first off the one daughter goes in second day do it again the second daughter goes you're sick you're sick and again there may be examples i can't speak on them that this literally happens 
currently, but you know the women that use the ways of, you know, getting someone under the influence. Yes, men have the stereotype of doing this mainly, but there are women. Let's not forget or let's not have that double standard or hinder the women's side because they are as equally, if not more evil, innately because they are the weaker vessel so they can get manipulated easier and their emotions are pretty heightened so they don't make clearer judgment calls just like Lot's daughters did. Why did you think it was an okay idea to get your father drunk to get into him and then have children to keep the lineage going? You know, if you could have just waited, Lot probably would have figured out an idea for you because as a father that was his job to do and in the customs he was going to probably anyway but at the same time you will never know because of what of your actions have done so it's just like people just don't want to wait because they believe a, girl, a woman thinks that her biological clock is ticking so I'm gonna do this and whatever it may have you have a sperm donor I don't care you should care have conjured up in your mind it needs to happen today whatever may have you and then you think it's okay to get somebody to a point where they're not even able to like blacked out and I know what it's like to be blacked out i have been home every single time thank the lord but being blackout drunk and you're around people and you're around people that you don't know and you're in a social setting that has to be the scariest thing on the planet and then on top of that somebody you think maybe is in your circle or maybe is a stranger that you were you know feeling or whatever just takes full advantage of you Inhibitions are down and the risk taking goes up. Everybody knows the repercussions of strong drink. But you have the nerve to be so evil in your head that you're like, no, nah, mm, I can't get it from somebody normally. I can't work for intimacy. I can't work for childbearing. I can't work to have an actual, you know, two parent situation or whatever it just is what it is and i'm gonna take what i need to now and even so this happens especially back in the day and nobody could tell me that it has not happened because it is true and in my generation it was frequent okay where the women especially those that wanted athletes yeah they would conjure up an idea, especially if the man wore protection, okay, to literally take the thing, okay, take whatever is in it, somehow store it, and impregnate themselves through, you know, them um, basters. Yeah, that's the thing sick sick i'm oh i'm just it's just people literally say it's it's a long time ago that stuff don't happen no more it is it you can't tell me that stuff has not happened within the last two decades at least you can't tell me that this hasn't happened generationally you can't tell me that this stuff is not active nowadays because they wouldn't have a thing they wouldn't have precaution like kids they wouldn't have these programs that tell you know younger women on how to be more aware with certain things they want to show these things in high schools and middle schools they want to have these situations and centers and so forth if this stuff wasn't happening currently it's in genesis 
It's in Judges. It's in the Old Testament. It's such a distasteful thing to me. And some people may have a different opinion. I'm just saying when it comes to the actions in which I just spoke about with Dina and Lot's daughters. No. No. And they were held responsible too. There were pre repercussions for their actions. And another story just popped in my head with the story about Samaria um, being the harlot as well. That whole story and with God's repercussions, like there's one thing for Simon and Levi to do what they did on Dina's behalf. It's another thing for the repercussions at the end with Lot's daughters, right? But God, when he intervenes, that is no joke. When you play the harlot, if you play your cards as a willing harlot and so forth, that is something that you know. That's something you need to avoid at all costs. Amongst other things, the law and the commandments and the statutes that show you how to conduct yourself, okay? And yes, it's a thing where you have to maneuver a lot of things trying to figure out your place in your lane within it as a woman. Because again, as I said, in more times than not, the things are geared towards men. Because again, there was a hierarchy where the men taught the women and the women with the children. It's a level thing, right? These type of situations that deal with women so that way... You could tell <laughs> that, you know, when it gets to when I start explaining the women that actually did good for Israel, that did good for the people in their community, that did have a sense of power and goodwill and so forth, those are in there. So I'm just laying the foundation for that build up where we do get to there because I'm trying to at least have it in kind of a sensical order if you will so we're gonna wrap up this video on another note because i need to talk about delilah with her crazy ass i do because the nerve the pure nerve i'm gonna hold my peace until then though okay